Hi everybody, it's Mel here. Welcome back once again to my channel, Pebbles and Peach. And today we are going to talk about van life in Switzerland. This is another episode of the Van Life In series where we talk about what van life is really like on each of the different countries that we visited on our big trip around Europe. And it'll include things like how accessible water was, what fuel prices were like, the best places to shop, the highlights, the negatives, basically anything you can think of will be included in this video. So this episode is probably going to be one of the shortest in the series simply because we didn't spend a huge amount of time in Switzerland and I'm going to get into a little bit of why during the video but before we do dive into the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already you guys know I always really really appreciate it and to hit the little notification bell beside it too so you don't miss out on any future uploads and yeah today we are in Switzerland <laughs> Even though we spent such a short amount of time like living in the van in Switzerland, it was probably one of my biggest highlights. One of the things that I really, really remember and was like flabbergasted by the beauty of that place. I highly recommend, even if you do something like we did, which was like a blast two day trip from like one side to the other to try and drive through Switzerland because you will see some things that you just like, I can't even describe how beautiful it was to be honest. Like it was unbelievable and I'll stick as much footage as I have into this video. Me being the idiot that I am on my proper camera, I did have, like the one I'm filming on now, I did have so much footage and video of Switzerland. I managed to, a couple of weeks ago, format the memory card that had all that stuff on it and I deleted loads but I think I still managed to have already saved some onto my computer and I had some from, some my, from my phone so luckily all wasn't lost and I still managed to have some stuff to show you guys but it definitely isn't all of it which is very disappointing and a lesson to back up your stuff immediately and try not to delete it as you're trying to back it up. <laughs> so first thing on the list as usual is fuel. Basically our, most of our time in Switzerland was spent driving. We did have to fuel up once or twice and the fuel prices are definitely hiked up in Switzerland. It is nearly one euro more expensive than pretty much everywhere else that we visited. Italy was still kind of on the expensive side so but on the whole, like maybe like nearly a euro more expensive. So you're talking like one euro 75 just for some diesel, which is a lot more expensive than most places in Europe. We actually had to refuel in like the most hilarious way. way. Like it's something that only would have happened to the two of us. We were spent like, I think this is on the second day and we were heading kind of more towards Italy. And <laughs> we had been driving like up all these Alps and like, oh my goodness guys, like the beauty, like it was absolutely unreal but we were literally like right at the top of this freaking alp or mountain or whatever and the fuel light comes on and we were like oh that's a bit of a problem because we're in the absolute middle of nowhere <laughs> but we actually got really really lucky we managed to make it so once we'd hit the peak and started to kind of come down the other side and um, at the bottom there was a fuel station and it was an unmanned fuel station but that's where we had to pay one euro 75 per liter of diesel which is high and um, so luckily we didn't spend too long in Switzerland and the reason we didn't spend too long in Switzerland is on to my next point which is shopping we actually did not have to do a shop at all in Switzerland and we planned planned it out that way because we already were aware and had already been told from other friends that you can expect to pay a heck of a lot more than anywhere else and we actually did call into a Lidl at one point we called into a McDonald's at one point in which we didn't actually buy anything because like literally guys the prices were shocking like you would be out of pocket in no time so it is very very expensive for food for eating out we did go out the first night we arrived we passed through this little town and there was a market going on and we we're like hey let's 
call into this market and I have to say even the market was quite expensive but we ended up getting these big like cheese kebabs which were really interesting and really cool just to to try it for something a bit different but I do remember them being quite pricey and I think it was like the cheapest option at the market if you know what I mean. It's maybe a good idea to try and shop before you head into Switzerland and have enough stuff to get you by until you make it make it out to wherever you're going because it is so expensive and so pricey. There's the rain on. I'm sorry if that's distracting for you guys. You can probably hear it on the roof. Now, the other things I usually talk about, like access to water and access to showers, I just don't really have to say in this one because, like I said, we were only there for two days and we literally just, like, washed in the van and stuff. Like, we never really needed to get, like, full-blown proper showers. And then our, obviously, access to water. We had plenty of water um, from where we'd been previously, so we also didn't really need to fill up on water but two of our friends who spent a long time in Switzerland that was something they never had a problem with and they also said that the water there was absolutely great well you kind of expect it to be like it's Switzerland but then um, they got really really good quality water and didn't have a problem access to it so I do know that from them but from first hand we never really had to try um to see if it was easy enough to get but i imagine it would have been i can kind of see where they were coming from like there's plenty of places to stop by and try and fill up your water tanks and stuff like that next i usually talk about campsites again didn't have to stay in any campsites in switzerland but the wild camping was phenomenal like i know we were only there for two nights but honestly i think however many nights we'd have been we'd always have found somewhere to stay and most of the time it was in these big like forests like the first night i always remember we stayed in this like big massive forest and the next day and i got up pretty early and went for this big walk and like the views there were stunning like literally like i don't know if i'm getting this across well enough but that place blew my mind and like both aaron and i have said like we've never seen anything like it and just like waking up and this beautiful scenery and like feeling like i was in some freaking movie or something like it was unreal and so the wild camping there was like phenomenal and um, we didn't have a problem there was no issues like i said we were there for such a short amount of time but i don't think that, that really would have mattered and like as we were driving up past that uh, big alp and over the mountains that i was telling you guys about there was people like even camping like wild camping just off the main road um in those mountains which was really really cool as well so i knew this was going to be a quick one already because we're already on to the highlights the highlights for me was just the beauty of the entire place like the whole time we were driving i didn't even want to like blink to miss anything because it was just stunning like every road you cross like it just seems like it gets more beautiful i've never seen water like it in my life like crystal clear blue glacier water like it was absolutely stunning and doesn't even come across on camera as it does in real life like it was unbelievably beautiful another highlight was probably the day that we decided to make the trek up in our van up basically one of the alps and it was like the steepest mountain that we have ever climbed in the van it was absolutely crazy and we drove until we basically couldn't drive anymore it started to get onto this dirt road track which is a little bit ropey and I actually started to freak out a little bit just because I was like oh my goodness the drop down there is like you're just gonna die so I kind of like freaked out a little bit but we got out of the van like near this little church like up the top of one of the mountains and like just being able to see like all these views from miles and miles ahead and you could see this town that literally looked so tiny because we were so high up the downsides the bum cheeks as i call them where the place is so bloody expensive we basically knew that before we went in so we didn't really go into many towns we didn't go into many cities we just kind of kept driving because we knew there wasn't much point because everything was going to be way out of our budget that mean, meant that we couldn't stay there as long as i probably would have liked like it was such a beautiful place i would love to spend more time exploring and being in the van around there i think i would definitely go back and do at least a drive holiday there or maybe more van life there or rving and just really stock up on food so that you don't have to absolutely spend a fortune the other downside of course is fuel and i have another downside which was literally like the first day that we got in we passed through lake constance and they had this um we actually didn't realize we had arrived at this not festival what the, what's the word kind of like um traditional day where they basically bring the cows that live high up in the feet the mountains they bring them down to the lower valleys because the weather's starting to turn so this was uh gosh when we were there end of October start of November time so I think it's coming into winter so they basically 
were bringing these cows to the fields and we were like standing and watching it and I had my camera out filming all these cows and their bells going across. It's something you'll really hear a lot in Switzerland is like the big cow bells. Like everywhere you go, there's one night we were in. And the second night actually, I think we were sleeping, we were near cows and I could hear the ding, ding, ding of their bells. But um, yeah, we were sitting watching this little procession and they have these little like sticks to like guide the cows and I understand that they don't usually like hit them with it they just kind of tap them to guide them but this guy as I was filming literally smacked this little cow so hard in the face and it actually really really upset me and really got to me and bothered me and I still like show people that video now because I just couldn't believe how hard he hit that little thing not cool in my opinion so that was a big downside for me was basically like freaking abusing your animals right in front of me like I said apart from that Overall, my experience of Switzerland was bloody amazing. Loved the place. And yeah, I know this was a little bit shorter of the videos in this series, but I can only say what I can. The next one will be a little bit longer. I'm going to talk to you guys probably about Germany and then it'll be Italy. And yeah, but before we sign off, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and to hit the little notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you guys so much for joining me and for watching this far. If you have, I'll see you guys on the next upload. Bye guys. I'll raise a glass to you And you'll raise a glass to me And when they're half full We'll top them up with whiskey